Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. All right, so I have three new perfumes that I picked up blindly from Zara. These ones I have heard about on YouTube and social media. I know they're really, really popular right now, so I decided to pick these up and see um, what I think about them. They're from that vanilla collection, and I have three here. Uh, we have Starlight Vanilla, and we have Hypnotic Vanilla, and we have Supreme Vanilla. There's also a fourth one, I think it's Vibration Vanilla, which I didn't pick up. I just decided to go with these three. Of these three, I'm looking forward to this one the most, Supreme Vanilla, because I have heard that this is similar to Black Opium Le Parfum and also Kali Vanilla 28. And I happen to enjoy both of those scents. So let's see um, if those if this is similar to those so I'm going to leave this one to the very end and I will start off with let's start off with this one hypnotic vanilla so I haven't tried these scents I think I already mentioned I'll just sniff them for the very first time and give you guys my first impressions of them and see what the hype is all about with these new Zara perfumes. So it says here chapter number seven, 995. So it's an eau de parfum. There's a little write up here. It says addictive and hypnotic, a radiant feminine bouquet embraced by the richness of golden vanilla. It's a 30 ml bottle. And I have heard that this is similar to Hypnotic Poison by Dior, which is my number one favorite women's designer perfume of all time, and also one of my most favorite gourmand scents. So before I get into this, I'm going to grab that bottle and see uh, if I can compare the two. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is, Dior Hypt Hypnotic Poison. I adore this scent so, so, so much. Creamy vanilla, almond, marzipan, very warm, cozy, gourmand, kind of root beerish as well sometimes, but absolutely delicious. So let's get this one open, Hypnotic Vanilla Eau de Parfum. So here's the bottle, very simple. And let's see here. Let's see if it's a good dupe for hypnotic poison. Okay. <laughs> right away. Mm. Right away, yes. It is definitely very, very, very similar <laughs> to hypnotic poison. Oh, wow, that's really, really close. It's sweet, creamy, kind of milky, almond, realistic, literal marzipan scent with a warm, milky vanilla. Wow, that is really, really close. <laughs> now I will quickly just spray the original hypnotic poison here. Mm. Yeah, they're really, really close, you guys. Wow. <laughs> really, really close. Very delicious. And so far, so far, I think it's a good dupe of Hypnotic Poison. And of course, I will test it on skin to see how it dries down and the longevity and if it smells different on skin versus paper, which it probably does. But on paper right now, yeah, it's very, very nice, very familiar, delicious, warm, cozy, gourmand, 
that is delicious. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think this is a good dupe so far of this hypnotic poison from Dior. Now let's move on to the second one here. This is Starlight Vanilla Eau de Parfum. It's similar to, from what I've heard, to Marintonka from Jo Malone, which I don't have a sample of that one with me, but I do remember smelling that, testing it a while ago, and I really like that scent a lot. So there's the write-up here that says, the purest abstraction, an exquisite nectar of almond and tonka bean dressed in an enveloping ambery vanilla signature. Now let's see here, the bottle looks exactly the same, starlight vanilla, the same as the other one. And let's give this one a try. First sniff. Hmm, okay. Wow. Very, very interesting scent. What I'm smelling here is an herbal, smoky incense. Hmm. There's like this nice freshness about it. A fresh, sweet incense kind of scent. It's very unusual. <laughs> kind of churchy incense, but not all the way there. That sweetness of the vanilla is there for sure. A nice, soft, wispy smokiness, a soft incense note. And some kind of herbal kind of scent in here as well, like an earthy, Something earthy and floral. A floral incense. With a nice vanilla base or background. That smells very, very unique. Not something that I would expect to smell from Zara. And I really like this one as well. <laughs> what does it say here again? Almond, tonka bean, ambery vanilla. Hmm. But I'm also getting that smoky, sweet incense as well. I'm curious what the notes are here on Fragrantica. I'll just pull it up quickly. Um... Okay, so the notes on Fragrantica say lavender, vanilla, almond milk, amber, and silk. So, yeah, there's definitely this like floral, herbal kind of freshness to it. But at the same time, this smoky, kind of dark, sweet vanilla incense at the same time. And I think that's beautiful. Okay, so comparing to what I remember Marin Tonka from Jo Malone to be like, I don't remember it having so much of a floral or herbal kind of scent to it, but I do remember that nice, soft, wispy, sweet, um, incense, smoke kind of note in it. Mmm. And this is really, really beautiful as well. That is nice. <laughs> I really like this one as well, this Starlight Vanilla. Quite surprised by it. Yeah, so, so far I like that one too. <laughs> so far we're two for two based on my first sniff. And finally we have Supreme Vanilla Eau de Parfum. 
As I said earlier, this is apparently similar to uh, Kaeli Vanilla 28 and also the Black Opium Le Parfum. Um, the write-up uh, over here says, a feminine and sophisticated fragrance, an ink accord associated to a pink sugar note, sublimate, a cap or sublimate, I'm not sure what that word is, sublimate, a captivating vanilla with notes of tonka beans and cedar wood. So let's give this one a try. The notes sound really, really nice with this one. And I really, really enjoy Black Opium Le Parfum. It's one of my most favorite releases of 2023. So let's see here. Supreme Vanilla. Yum. Hmm. Okay, so definitely get the sweet sweet vanilla scent but i'm also picturing some white sugar crystals that have been melted down into kind of a syrup kind of texture so a very very sweet vanilla sugar scent i'm also smelling a little bit of vanilla extract in here as well making it kind of gourmandy. Also maybe some simple sugar where you just melt down some sugar in a pot with some water, I believe. <laughs> yeah, this is a really nice, straightforward, super sugary vanilla scent. It's not as strong as the other ones from what I can tell on the test strip here. I'm going to spray some more. Yeah. More subtle than the other two, but of course I'll, I will test these ones on skin and see how they dry down and compare, but I'm not actually thinking of um, the Black Opium Le Parfum right now. I'm thinking more of a simple sugary vanilla. Maybe a little bit of smokiness in the background there. Some extra white sugar crystals or cubes added in here as well. There's an ink accord in here. Not really thinking of ink <laughs> when I smell this but just a simple, straightforward, sugary vanilla, a little bit of vanilla extract, and maybe a little bit of smokiness as well, which is very, very nice. I think it's very wearable, easy to wear. Actually, all three of these, I think, are very wearable vanilla scents. And I like this one as well. <laughs> yeah, very, very pretty. A supreme vanilla. So just based on my first sniffs and first impressions of these, the one that I like the most so far is the hypnotic vanilla. Mm. Because it's very similar so far to the Dior hypnotic poison again one of my most favorite scents of all time for sure then in second place i'd probably go for the starlight vanilla because it smells very different from what i'm used to it smells different from other things that i've smelled before with a resemblance to the marintonka but not exactly. So maybe if I get my hands on a sample of the Murantanka, I can do a separate video to compare the two. But it smells like a beautiful, sweet, incense, floral, herbal scent. 
And then the Supreme Vanilla. Very, very nice as well. Sweet, sugary, simple, straightforward vanilla scent that you can't really go wrong with for sure. <laughs> so yeah, so far I like all three of these. So far I'm happy with um, the purchase that I made blindly. Um, hopefully I can get my nose on the last one, the Vanilla Vibration or Vibration Vanilla, something like that. Um, I heard that it's similar to one of the Christian Louboutin scents that I haven't tried before. Uh, but yeah, I think I think these are great um, and I like them so far and I can't wait to try them on skin. That was my video on the three vanilla scents from Zara from chapter number seven. If you've tried this collection, I would love to hear your opinions about them down in the comments. Uh, which is your favorite? Which is your least favorite? Do you think they're worth the hype? Do you think they're worth the money? Uh, please let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.